y'all. Today we're making Italian marinated chicken breast. I'll start off with these three chicken breasts, which I'm going to cut into strips and then marinate them. I have made my own Italian dressing, but you can definitely make your own. But I will link the ingredients to this below just in case anyone's interested in that. And we'll be right back. So what I'm going to do is take these chicken breasts that I've already rinsed off. I'm going to put them in this a large freezer bag. And I'm going to put this Italian dressing in here over the top of these and let them marinate. Now if you want to marinate yours overnight that's fine or if you the longer that you can do it the better that the more that the seasoning is going to sink in to it and the more that it'll affect the flavor of the chicken. Now see I'm going to try to make sure that these are covered all over and then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator and let them marinate until I get ready to do it, which is probably going to be tonight for me. And that's it as far as getting that set up, guys. Like I said, you can use a, a bottle of, of Italian dressing that you already have on hand, or you can make your own. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this burner on. I'm going to put enough oil in here to cover the bottom. Probably a couple tablespoons. I'm going to flip these over. As you can see, they're beginning to get brown. Ooh, maybe not that one. This may not sound like a a tasty dish but it is very very tasty in fact I like it so much it's the very first thing I made for me my husband and I when we first started dating when I wanted to cook something for him this is what I chose just thought I'd let you get a look at them while I'm still cooking and getting to get a little brown on both sides and so you can pretty well cook them to your desired color as long as they're done and you might want to use a thermometer one of those instant read ones that's probably the, the best thing it's beginning to look really yummy to me and they smell so good okay I'm going to have to get these out of here You might not like yours as brown as I do. Just make sure they're done if you like them lighter than that. But I kind of like them to have a little bit of brownness to them. And I love the taste of these. And I think that you guys will too. I've got the second batch in here now and I'm just watch my hands and Make sure you guys, if you're just new to cooking, make sure you guys to wash your hands, especially with chicken. When I was taking home ec in school, that was one of the things that the home ec teacher was constantly on about, that the bacteria from poultry was just higher than a lot of the other meats. And I don't know if that's true or not, but it definitely put that, that desire in there to keep my hands washed every time I handle raw meat so just going to pass that on to you guys in the second round it does brown up a little bit quicker because it the oil is already kind of caramelized so you're going to have to turn your oil down turn the heat down I mean because it'll look more done than it actually is I'll put some of these darker ones up here at this part where it seems to be cooking faster. Let's 
some of these down here. See how that works out. The second batch is about just about done too, so I'm gonna start getting that out of there. But I wanted you guys to notice how you know caramelized looking it is. If you like that video, please like and subscribe and ring that bell so that you can be informed when other videos become available. And as always, thank you so much for watching.